What's up guys, Man on the Moon here with another video. And today I'm going to be going over my build for Rosita, the mods, the different weapons that I do and have used. and Because to be perfectly honest, she still hits, like she slaps. And so I finally decided it was worth going over my build for her. Um, I'm going to start off with the skills. As you can see, I maxed out everything. Um, the reason for that is A, because I use her regularly and have for quite a while. But the other part is just everything really does help. Um, not to say that everything doesn't help with pretty much every character, but... The one I would say is maybe debatable going for would be Disarming Strikes 1 and 2 um, when attacking 40% uh, chance one other, get, other enemy gets disarmed for two turns. Um, with it being the Grade 5 and the LB3 skill upgrades, that's just a lot of military supplies. Um, other than that though... Uh, flashy attacks 1 and 2 agility 1 and 2 um, no more weapons 1 and 2 I would say those are all pretty pretty. I, I don't want to say necessary but pretty necessary but as far as what you might be able to skip you might be able to get away with no more weapons 1 and 2 and disarming strikes 1 and 2 but you definitely need the agility 1 and 2 and flashy attacks 1 and 2. Um, personally though, I'd say if you're going to use her, just max her. Alright, moving on to the mods. Um, she's pretty straightforward. Um, just a crit set, crit damage multiplier in the auxiliary slot the I would say give her one of the better ones that you have Lydia might need a better one and I, maybe a Michonne 2k potentially could use a better one there's it just really depends on your roster but yeah give her as good of one as possible same with the attack stat mod um I doubled down on attack versus just because one, I needed a character to be able to hit alerts very, really hard. But then also, you know, with the angels and the Andres, peace, you know, just the blue meta we're going through at the moment, I just wanted to double down on trade advantage. So she would just absolutely just destroy blues. Unfortunately, I've only got a 44.5% attack versus tough crit set mod that's, like, available. And then I went taunt resist just because there's a lot of taunt on those tough teams. So it just seemed the obvious way to go. Another good mod that you might want to go for would potentially be confuse resist just because there's a decent amount of confuse out there between Steve and uh, Laupo and I feel like there's somebody else that's like used quite a lot that has confuse that I'm just not thinking of at the moment but I would say taunt or confuse resist are the way to go on her alright moving on to the weapons um now, I've used quite a few weapons on her um, over the time I've had her. Currently, this is the weapon that I'm using on my attack teams just because, well, that's kind of what's working best at the moment. Obviously, built it from scratch. 45% attack, huge bonus to AP when attacking. Uh, bonus attack, 45% attack when attacking enemies of more than 50% HP. 
and 1535 in the fourth slot. It's worth noting that she doesn't actually need the AP. I probably could have gone for 30% HP in that second slot and it would have been better for her specifically. That being said, I am the type of person where the first time I build a weapon, I'm going to build it to last. I don't want it to necessarily build it for one character and not have it be at least usable on others in the future. And although she doesn't need AP because she has, uh, she can just signature, she can use her signature move every turn. The next character I use this weapon on might need AP. So I did I did put the AP bonus on it. Moving on, we have the Destructive Shiny Kruki. Um, now, this one's not craftable. I got it from some crate, some choice crate a while back. I don't even remember what it, where the crate came from or how long ago it was. But it had the attack, uh, what did it have? 35, it started out with 35% attack, very large bonus to AP when attacking. The tier four double attack, which is off trait. And then I th believe it had the critical crits, the slow on crit, um, which I believe is also off trait, but I got lucky. I wanted, I honestly did want to get crit expert on this weapon. Just double attack crit expert is pretty, I mean, it's pretty, it can be pretty OP. I used this weapon for quite a while. It does really well. And it is definitely a good backup. The issue is you can't get, go get it from anywhere. Um, it was in that crate. It was in a couple promo weapon wheels, but outside of that, there's no way to go get this weapon, unfortunately. But if you do have it and you wanted to put Crit Expert on the fourth slot, it works very, very well. And finally, um, well, you all know me. If you've been on and been around and watching my channel for a while, you guys know. I, uh, I love me some diamond knife and, uh, so yeah, I've had this one, f I've had this one for ages. This was actually, no, it wasn't, no, it was my other diamond knife. Um, this one has 45% attack, huge bonus to AP when attacking, impair when attacking, better chance to impair the enemy for three turns. So that's an off trait tier three. And then 1535. Um, I also have one that has Crit Expert on the fourth slot. But I've found that you can really only get away with having... You should have at least three 1535s on any given attack team. Um, including the leader. And honestly, I normally just can't fit another Crit Expert weapon in there. Um, so I go with the 1535 more often. That being said that, you know, I, I love the diamond knife. It's, it's just my good old standby. Um, I've used it on her very well in the past. Um, this is a very easy build. And it, it does work. It works well. Okay, well... That was my Rosita, guys. Um, hmm. Okay, guys, that was my Rosita build. Um, I hope it helps you. Um, and I, considering the changes that are going to be coming to war next season, you're going to need more, more than one attack team. And with the way, you know, there's all these tough characters out there right now anyway, I would suggest using her regardless. 
But once people have three attack teams, you're going to need, or three defense teams, you're going to need to have multiple attack teams. And I, I mean, for me, uh, I've always said that disarms are pretty necessary in attack teams. And as far as what I have right now, uh, you know, Rosita's still the one, you know, as much as I love Wayland. Um, he, he's nowhere near as good as she is. Jesus is not on the same level anywhere near, um, holiday hero. Carl would probably be the only other one that I would want to actually use. Uh, but unfortunately I only have him like grade five. So that ain't happening. Anyway, I hope it helped you. And let me know down in the comments below. Do you still use Rosita? Um, do you think she's going to make a comeback with the with the war changes that are going to be coming up? And just overall, what do you guys think of her? Um, I know a lot of people thought she fell off, and I personally, I never did. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Remember, guys, it is a game, so try and have fun. This is going to be your friendly neighborhood man on the moon signing off. Later, guys.